and a happy new year. So I, I would ask the question or one, 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 one. You, you, if you want to ask, you can ask because all this in Chinese. Okay. I'll and everybody you... want to listen to your beautiful voice. Bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm a little more sentiment, sentimental. Really? Yeah. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? I got influenced by you, honestly. Like, from now on, whenever I ask someone, like, really? I usually I usually ask, really? But then, after, you know, hang out with you, I always do, really? <laughs> really? <laughs> really? What more? What another word that you feel that you feel influenced by me? Animals? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I don't know what? why. I don't know why, but I pronounce animals. I know. Animals. Animals. An I know it's Where's the edge though? I don't know. <laughs> it's animals. I know it's animal, but when I'm talking like a for example, do you know the animals? I it's kinda of, I don't know. Sometimes it's ha. It just like, comes out. Yeah, it's come out. I know there's another one that whenever there's a like there's one word, right? And it starts with S. You would always kinda always have like an A sound before the S. Like let's say for example, what's your name? Stephen. <laughs> Something Stephanie. Like, Stephanie, or like Stephanie or something like that. It's because we, we have the tendency to pronounce the S really well. S. Yeah. Ah. S Stephanie. S Stephanie. Okay. So it's I have a name that, like I, I have a name for of course. I, did you notice that we pronounce some 13 names in Spanish, but we pronounce in Spanish. Because it's like a why well, we are going to pronounce in English if they, they have a it's a Spanish name. Mm, got you, got you. Today we I bring my sister to the studio. Yes. She's lovely. No. She's like a <laughs> she's the beautiful version, the feminine version of Cockroy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's start this shit. <laughs> Everybody! Ape Ama! No, are you ready for a star? <coughs> <laughs> That's why we Everybody, need to Everybody! Welcome back to our Bros Bond show. Ape, Agon, Ama, Ajim, Ato. Ah, Abuela. <laughs> it's me, Conquer. It's me, Tyler. And this is Bros Bond. I'm so happy because, you know, probably you guys don't know, but this is our, like, well, it's not going to be our very last episode of this entire season, but this is the last one that we are doing the recording. Yeah, so, in the yeah. schedule that yeah. we put, we put this is the last episode yeah. that we record. I have a lot of mixed feelings, actually. actually. Yeah, mixed feelings. I have a, t a lot of mixed feelings, too. I feel like I, I don't know, bro. <laughs> you go ahead, you go ahead, you go ahead. <laughs> Thanks for the people who support us. I feel that I'm going to miss this place. Right? Yeah. Uh, we don't know. We don't know yet. But I feel yeah. like uh, in some way... But we it are is true. We are going to temporarily or permanently. <laughs> <laughs> Even that, now, the days... Well, I don't know. We record this in Christmas and I feel so happy yeah. that a lot of brands, especially one brand that we are not going to mention... Uh, are you going to say the mention? We're not going to mention. We are not going to mention the brand... But we got some Christmas gift. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we. <laughs> yeah. Very subtly, we're gonna show off. Yeah. Some of a special item. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we are really happy that that brand yeah, really is happy and yeah. yeah, thankful. So today we've uh, gathered. Actually, we asked twice, and there are yeah. like more than a hundred questions we've got, and we have you know like tried to you know downsize a little bit because some are actually repeated. So today we are going to answer fifty questions. Actually, Would you like to start now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like so everybody, be ready because this is the only one time in your life. Q&A, bros <laughs> Okay, let's get into it, shall we? Okay. Uh, I think everybody was waiting for this moment. Yeah, I was like, I feel so scary, I feel so scary. <laughs> They'd be like, just start already. Even yeah? I didn't ask you, <laughs> how crap. are you? Even I didn't ask you, bro, how are you? Yeah. So <laughs> I'm doing fine, and uh, thank you, and you? <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, I'm, I'm scary, bro, I'm super okay, scary. Okay, all right. So, question number one is, bros bond the Oh, bro. I know you're not a big fan of, you know... Astrology things, yeah. My mother is a big fan of that. Yeah. Even my mother, when she was thinking, planning to have a baby, mm -hmm. she tried to... Me and my sister, we match in the same emotional or something like that. 
Oh. Yeah, but I don't believe in that. Because it, it, I think the personality <laughs> is the how you build your personality is depending mm -hmm. on about the, what mm -hmm. happened in your life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's true. But what's your sign? He really doesn't believe in any kind of that. <laughs> Me, on the other hand, I'm a strong believer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I am... Um, Say it. I'm Aquarius. Aquarius. I know you hate to hear it, but you are an Aquarius. <laughs> like how you behave, how you think, you're very rational and you're weird sometimes in your own I don't way. know why the people, <laughs> some guys, they come to me and they tell me, oh, when they say, how is your thing? And they say, I'm Aquarius. They say, oh, you oh, are yeah. super Aquarius. Oh, you're super Aquarius. <laughs> and I'm like, what the fuck? No, what does it mean to be super Aquarius? It's not like I, I don't know, I bore with a brand or something like that or... Okay, you might say that's like a stereotype or just, you know, we're coming up with the personality. But Aquarius, <sighs> they tend to be creative, rational, and they live in their own bubble. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's basically you, bro. <laughs> okay. My star sign is Leo. So, uh, yeah. Leo. I'm a lion, yeah. Girl. I would say, yeah, like, likes to show off. Poor money management. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're the one that got this. You are the account in this company. Why do you take that responsibility? Knowledge, you are not good in that. Wait. No, I My mean, God. I mean, okay. Not like the overall management. Like when it comes, I tend to be super generous, I would say. So like, if I'm broke, I still like to, you know, give. I still like to be the provider. And that's just that. Maybe that's just oh me. Oh my god! This yeah. company is going to be broken. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're gonna bankrupt. <laughs> I'm okay. really scared. The scary. final one is uh, funny, and I would like to think that I'm like okay, okay. Yeah. You you consider it you funny? <laughs> maybe B plus. <laughs> <laughs> Are you both Taiwanese? Bro, this is happen every time. Come every on, time. Close up. Close up. This is a Taiwanese dude. <laughs> That's happened every time that I, I I go outside. Some people they tell me like, hey, are you Taiwan? Or your parents are one of your parents are from Taiwan? Uh -huh. Or maybe are you you in Chumin? Are you Aboriginal? Yeah. And I'm like, what? No, no, I'm Latino 100. percent I mean, you could pass as Aboriginal. Like a what kind of? Some people they tell me like I pass like a Amis, Amis. Ame ma. Yeah. yeah, Ame or I don't know, Lukai or Taiwan. Taiwan? Um, yeah. That means you're handsome. It, that means your, how do I say? Your, nose? your facial structure, it's very defined and you have a pointy nose. And people love that. I think you could just take it as a compliment, I would say. Yeah. But you, I'm so patriotic. <laughs> so, <laughs> if I need to die for Peru, I will die for Peru. <laughs> Nobody would ever guess, but I'm actually mixed. If you could guess, if you try to guess, I am half Taiwanese and half what? I mean, you already know the answer, but yeah. only by like my face wise. A lot of people. You guess. are the real mix. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not mix. I'm 100 percent Peruvian. Uh, want to know you have done the most embarrassing thing? My partner at the time, she had a roommate. They lived together, and I, I, I visit and occasionally <laughs> stay there. <laughs> so we were in the middle of um, a cardio session in a bedroom <laughs> and um she was <laughs> <laughs> yes we were burning calories yeah uh and we were i think we were really close to um how do i say the, the, the wall so we were making some biking and then she just yelled she screamed like stop doing that shit <laughs> like the room and we were like <laughs> So should I put it out right now? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it was kind of embarrassing because the next morning we together had brunch. Oh, yeah. So it was oh, like with the face with them. Hmm. Yeah, but oh, eventually we, we we talk it out. We were like, uh, I'm really sorry if we yeah. Oh, I have a one more, but it's nobody look at me. But it's it's like uh, my body can resist because in that moment your I was, body can resist because I was driving and I was in traffic and uh -huh. I was really close. I really want to go to do pee. Uh huh. And I was driving, so it was the traffic was huge. You can't imagine the traffic. Uh -huh. The traffic of Taiwan is nothing compared to the traffic of Peru. Uh -huh. You can stay hours. So I was really want to go to pee. I wanted to pee, but I was in the traffic. But the traffic is move, stop, move, stop, move, stop. Uh -huh. So basically, you can go out. Basically. Yeah, yeah. So I was like a, I feel how my body want to explode. 
So I was to try to like a really close, like a maybe two blocks next to me was like a, the, the gas station. Mm -hmm. But I couldn't stop. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't. And just you like, can't hold it anymore. And man. I do pee in my car. But in into a bottle or into no, no, no. Just I was driving because I was I need to keep because I was up, 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 up. up. It's, it's a seller, the seller, a seller stop, a seller break, a seller break. So in that moment, it was in this move. So I couldn't stop or I, and couldn't stop and holding one bottle and doing not just I float out. Oh, you wet your pants? Yes. But what's really, in that moment, I feel like, oh no, brah. And then I still clean my car, like, are <laughs> you calling my But I feel like a kid because. It's like How much a, you wet? Like, you just let Bro. it go and let it all out. Yeah, <laughs> it's like a lady. You're like a okay. I'm. I'm. If I'm going to die, but not for pee. So I'm going to. Yeah, because I know if you holding your pee long, your time, bladder you, will explode. That's yeah. true. Yeah. So in that moment, that can be more that shameful. Too. Ah. Well, one time I was, I was. I, I think I told you this. I was in a production and they were shooting outside, like at a beach. Right, it's like already outdoor, and it was like in the middle of night, and I felt like my bladder is about to explode. I told them repeatedly, I really need to go to the restroom, and they just one more shot, one more shot, one more. You know how it works. <laughs> you know how it works. One shot it usually takes like thirty to forty minutes. I really couldn't hold it anymore, and I said, "Can I please just have a bottle, and then I can pee in a car like privately at least?" And then they told me that, well, right now we don't have a cup or like a bottle, but we do have a plastic bag. So. <laughs> So I peed in a plastic bag. In a plastic bag. And it, a freaking, pla it freaking leaked. But it was a plastic bag, but, but yeah. I did pee in my pants, in my okay. whole. Yeah. And you, you know won. It's you won. <laughs> <laughs> Bro's Bond, Tuan Ah, oh, this is a really good question. So I think a lot of people think that it's a big team. We actually have a huge team. Yeah, you want to go ahead and introduce all of our members? Okay, we have a Jack, we have a Alex for the camera, we have a Beanie for the light, we have a John for the editing, uh, we have a Alex, another Alex for the reels, and we have a, a Martin who is taking care of the production. We have a Gabriel who is taking care of the a brand and then and you can contact Gabriel at robbrosbong.com we, we actually have a you know like an in-person English tutor there just to you know yeah like, just, just in case check, that yeah. we need to we need to not nah, just us <laughs> <laughs> no actually just well, us. in this moment for real we have a one more person we are yeah, three we have an extra house yeah we yeah. have an extra person but, but I she just joined like a few days ago yeah 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 but yeah. all the whole basically the whole season First season and second season, we was just two, you and me. Yeah. But that is the point. I told you, we the people think that we are a lot of people because we work like a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> we do like a four-time job, four-time yeah. job. Yeah. Yeah, we work super, super hard, like a 8 a.m. to the middle of the night. Yeah. Even we have a meetings 1 a.m., mm -hmm. 12 half. So we work super hard because we are, of course, we dedicate, we, are, we put the focus, that this is going to be amazing and this need to be big and this need to be one of the best podcasts in the whole Taiwan in the whole life. <laughs> Are you declaring war right now <laughs> to, to <laughs> other Taiwanese podcast shows? No, no, no. Uh, well, you're working overseas. How does that make you feel? Like, what's your personal experience working abroad? Like, away and in the relatively unfamiliar environment? Hard. Would you recommend people doing that? You need to be brave. You need to you, be brave. You need to yeah. be brave. You need to settle that is this or died. <laughs> yeah, is or you are successful or you died. That's the simple because I'm know that Taiwan, I can't speak Chinese. Taiwan is a country that is only Chinese. And when I assist to the shows, to maybe some uh just only the show in the mall all this in chinese and i know i know that i couldn't speak chinese yeah. but i try to build something big because i really want to be part of the taiwanese culture i love taiwan with my whole heart i think it's a hundred and twenty percent sure true that you are going to have hardship and you are going to face adversity that's for sure like you can have all the fantasy and all the dream and it's lovely that you know you have a dream and that you're going for it you are trying to achieve it by taking actions but you have to also be realistic yeah some countries some nations they are super friendly to tourists foreigners but 
yeah you have to you know really weigh in the options and really see in a realistic from a realistic angle like through the lens of okay if one day i want to live there i want to star and plan my entire career there it's a different thing so i would say yeah and also like for example i worked and i studied uh in the states i would say yeah i i lived in california and people were so nice but at the same time you really got to step out of your comfort zone yeah like for me uh i there was a long time i felt that oh i wasn't really confident speaking in english so i just i hung out with a lot of you know chinese friends taiwanese friends hong kong friends and at that time i honestly i loved them and we we hung out all the time but my english ability and proficiency i didn't improve at all and it's like up until I really decided that no, oh, I have to break this thing. I cannot continue to stay in my bubble. It's basically if you go to Chinatown and if you eat dim sum and if you hang out with Chinese speaking friends, you're basically you're not really living in a foreign environment. Foreign yeah. So mm -hmm. I would say have your expectation and also really try to be realistic. Yeah. Well, we recommend it. I think if you have an answer, you should go for it. If you're still, you know, weighing the option, then think. Really hold your horses. Try not to make any sudden and, you know. I think twice for everything. Yeah, everything that, every decision that you have, think twice. Uh, 很好奇看过明白比较不一样的意思吗？例如句子的尾巴会有逆拉之类的撞声词。You can give me some questions, some example, and I can tell you what is what is the emotion. 你是跟我说过了吗？ is you finished? Or did you tell me? Or... Again. It's a little more like you trade that person? Like a... A little bit in a annoyed Annoying moment. Yeah. It's like, what well, did you tell me then? Uh -huh. Because you didn't. In a, in a sense like yeah. that. Or... It's like, a, okay... It's like, a, oh, I already tell you the answer. I already know the answer. He knows the really <laughs> subtle nuance. Yeah. Bro, uh -huh. living in Taiwan for four years, I try to... Basically, it makes sense. Uh -huh. Because even with the sound, what you say, like, a, no, la. The la is more like a could. Yeah. Like, how la. Oh, it's like, yeah, a, how la. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how pa. How about? It's like a little more cry, like I say, okay. How <laughs> la? <laughs> you never are going to say how la. <laughs> I consider I'm a little Taiwanese. I feel like you a, are. You are. You are. Oh, I already gave you the invitation to the Chinese hell, to the Taiwanese hell. What are you talking about? <laughs> you are welcome. Any regretful thing that you had or had not done? Listen, I'm one person that take decision, and I love the decisions that I take. Uh -huh. I don't yeah. live. No I don't regrets. Live. Yeah, I don't. I don't live thinking in, oh, what if? No, it's I take this decision, I live with the consequence, and I go, I keep working, I keep doing, I keep doing. Mm -hmm. Even when we talk back decisions, yeah. it's like, a, okay, we fuck up, but now what is the next? We con is it's like, a, we stay here, but now we need to go up again. Mm -hmm. I don't think, yeah, what about you? You have a song? <laughs> this one, um, I don't regret the decision that I made, but I got to know some other extra information after I already done that thing. So, um, right. well, I told my mom when I was in high school, I told my mom that, mom, I want to study in the United States of America. And my mom was like, oh, really? I heard it's quite, it's gonna cost us an arm and a leg. Do you want to maybe wait until you are master? And at that time, I was studying in dance. I was majoring in dance, and my mom was a dance teacher. So obviously, if I stay, then chances are I'll be a dance instructor or a professional dancer right now. And at the time, I just like I, I was so crazy. Uh, I fell in love with acting and just like, no, I have to go in the Hollywood and film industry, cinema. I love everything there. I want to go there and I want to eventually be able to work there and live there and, you know, the American dream. And my mom's like, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I got in and then she supported me all the way through. Uh, by the way, I had, I, I was not sponsored by any like scholarship or anything. So mm -hmm. it was, everything was completely paid out of pocket to a private mm -hmm. university. Super expensive and um, probably cost me, my mom, like about a house, I would say. Yeah. And I found out later on that she kind of, she, she, she took a loan in order to support me. Oh. Yeah. And she was, you know, like, 
Yeah, well. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But you, would you? I mean, would you change that? If I had known that one piece of information, I would probably. I would still have my American dream, but I would not go that soon. You know. I mean, like, I was very grateful, but I was just like, oh, my mom gave me this much of money, so I'm going to divide them. I'm going to save them, without knowing, everything was borrowed. From the bank, or it was a loan. Yeah, if I had known that, I might like my decision might change. Yeah, but I did not regret. I I, I freaking love the the experience. I like spending thousands of dollars just have an art teacher teach me how to lie on the floor correctly and breathe correctly. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what we do, you know. Like whenever people ask you, "Oh, cool, you're an art student. So, what exactly did you learn? Like, what are your skills? You went, you study acting." I'm like, uh, I feel like I learned a lot. <laughs> you know the feeling that、like、you feel like you learn a lot, but you feel like at the same time you learn absolutely nothing. It's like you quite, you you can't really, you know, you you can't put it into words. But I would say, I, I I overall I love the experience. Yeah. But if you wasn't in USA, you couldn't speak English, right? Yeah. And if you couldn't speak English, we didn't meet. Yeah. So basically, I think. Yeah. Let your mom listen. Everything leads to another thing. Yeah. 如果你有女儿，会把女儿嫁给对方吗？ Mm. No hard feelings, just you know, completely honest answer. I think and, you are and... a good guy.、Mm-hmm. I really don't know you in deep. Like,、uh, I don't know how is your real life because we have a, that life that everybody saw. Yeah. But I saw you in your real. In maybe I can know you. Maybe like I can tell you like a sixty or seventy percent、mm-hmm. because I, I really don't know what is how is your life in your room. What is your thoughts and what、mm-hmm. is your mind.、Mm-hmm. But what I saw, if don't have no matter the age, a person like you, yeah, why not? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I have the same. No, bro, I'm a fucking playboy. <laughs> before I get married, before I find the right person, I was a a shit of person. Don't, no, I think don't like, let <laughs> you. You always have that crazy Kike Kongor period. If you were in that period. No, say no. <laughs> It no, wasn't the crazy、yeah. Kike Kongo period. But now I know、no. you, and I see. I think one thing that really touched me, even though I'm not, you know, like your lover, but I see, you know, from the side, like how much you're willing to, to do for your wife, and that the, the communication, and you staying calm, and you taking notes. <laughs> I think that <laughs> it's really rare that it's such a daring quality. You rarely see that in men, especially at this age. So I would say, if you talked about dating, I don't know, but yeah, if you're like serious, serious, then I think, yeah. When are we going to have a in-person fan meeting? Oh, amazing question! Amazing question! Lovely question! <laughs> everybody, now the season number three, we have a lot of big plans. So everybody, prepare the people. I think the first show is going to be for the people of Tainan.、Mm-hmm. So everybody, that Tainanese, everybody, you need to be ready because we are going to prepare one big show. For you, you can participate of the recording season number three of Bros Bone. We don't know exactly when, we don't know exactly how, but we will have this plan. But it's gonna happen. For so、sure. it's going to happen that if you love this podcast, maybe you can tell us something in this podcast because we have a lot of schedule that part or participate for the public participate. So everybody and even you can write your own question or what happened to you this day. So、mm-hmm. we are going to choose, we are going to read, and we are going to comment. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be a really big show, but、yeah. face to face in one period. We don't know, but it's part of the season number three. Yeah, one of the plans. And we're so open for ideas. Even for today, th- this Q and A was suggested by yeah you know, our fans. So yeah, if you like to have a thing, if you like to meet up with us, or if you have, if you like to you know have a show together. We're open, yeah. But like、possible. I told you, Brosbon is try to give you that one hundred, the best experience in your life, for podcast, for audio, for imagining, for everything. So if one day we want to make a one fan meeting, yeah, the same need to be amazing, need to be one of the big, one of your best experiences in your life. Yeah. So it's going to be hard. So give us some time. Yeah, exactly. 你们会做 vlog 吗？日常生活的那种。We don't dislike the idea. We are just simply terrible at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because we need to give time, but the whole time that we have already is for Bros Bone. 
For me, the hardest part is actually I think for the editing, yes, it's hard, it's hard. and it's really energy consuming. But the hardest part is when you're outside and then you need to you know like hold your camera and say hi everyone. So I'm like right now in here and we're doing this. This is I tried, you know, when I yeah, went to yeah, Korea, I tried, like and it was. How many episodes? I you was really. How many episodes you record? How many episodes you pull? <laughs> I recorded ten episodes worth content, and I only uploaded two. <laughs> <laughs> Literally every day, and then I wake up, and I will be like, "Hello, today is Saturday," <laughs> and you know, I talk all. I th I think I probably save for like close to 50 gigabits of um of the content. Yeah, but yes. I stopped. I stopped. <laughs> this, no, I think we are going to do one yeah, one time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe for the season number four, yeah. you are going to see how is our real life. But we need one person who uh -huh. holds the camera. We need a cameraman. Yeah, we need a cameraman. It's impossible that we do our own B vlogs. But honestly, other than this podcast, we do have huge plans for yeah. you know we are about to. We're actually in the process of trying to develop more and more really crazy, fun, interesting shows. It might not be vlog, yes, <laughs> but it's gonna be something you know equally, equally fun. It's gonna be really excited. Yeah, yeah. we'll let we'll let you guys know. You know when we have more of a clear idea at exactly what we're gonna do. But we have be crazy, ready for the season number three. We have crazy, crazy, crazy big plans and you know huge blueprints. Yeah, for it. yeah. Totally mm -hmm. for the season number three is going to be amazing. It is okay. Moving. On. Ooh, this one is spicy. What do you love the most? About each other, <laughs> <laughs> I think I love your dedication for the war. That's a really impression for me. You love to war, and you have a really strong idea about what is the man, what is the man in the role, the role man that need to support, have a really strong future, right? Have a war heart. So I really like that. I really love that, and your dedication and your loyalty is one of the things that I value and I love for you. Mm. Really clear for me. Ah, oh, I don't want to cry. I will not cry, but one thing I love about you is there was one time that we were in crisis, and I was so in the middle. Just I, I, I was stuck in a void and thinking about, oh, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. I, I, I fucked up big time. This is gonna end. This is so bad. And the only concern that I have was because I didn't just get um, that's a hate. Only you know, like me, I am. As if like I'm dragging you in in this whole shithole, and I feel so sorry for that. It's like you didn't do anything. It was you know the, the entirely purely what I did, but you are also getting you know like some kind of harassment, and that for me at the time I was like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, someone is going down with me, and this is not great. But then you just said that. Bro, turn on your phone. It's okay. I'm gonna be with you like a hundred percent from the start all the way to the end. And that was the first time that I had this strong fear, that the sense of abandonment. That I, I feel like, yeah, it's totally reasonable if you just want to cut me loose. It's totally reasonable because that's probably what ninety five percent of you know the population would do if someone fucked up big time. That's when you say, Beep. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't, not even for one second. And you only like at that time there was a lot of accusation, a lot of curiosity, a lot of questions asked, and you only asked me. I know you. Did you intentionally do this? I said no. You're like okay, then we're gonna fix it. It's okay. It's it, everything's gonna be okay. And that's the first time like, what? That's it? I don't have to defend. I don't have to try to convince you. I don't have to do anything. You just believe me. Who I am. And that's the time I feel like I'm working with someone that I can for sure trust all my life with. I am crying. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, bro. Yeah, I love you. This one is for me. Uh, Tyler's sexuality. Damn! <laughs> is Tyler straight or is Tyler gay? Oh. Bro, we are going to start. You want to? I this think is honestly one of the most asked question why why is this the most asked questions <laughs> i think it's hard to say because i only say the fact because i really hate tags labels i don't like to be labeled into a specific ca category i think that if you find belongingness if you feel like oh yeah i find a you you find a community and you want to stay in that ca category i think i think it's perfect but i think for me i don't know i don't like to be labeled 
But I would say I've only been attracted to women. At one point in my life, I was really confused. I was like, huh, I see pictures of, you know, really muscular guy, like fitness model. And I, I at one point I was like really confused. Like, do I like them or I want to be like them? That was like the one point. And then I think after that, I, 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 I think I started, oh, I know, I realized that I just want to have their body on my body. I want to be chiseled. I want to be really, you know, shredded. Yeah. But that doesn't mean I am attracted. I want to, <laughs> I want to have sex with them. No, it doesn't mean that like that. But yeah, I think like to you, you're like super, you're a hundred percent straight. To me, I don't know, honestly, but I just, I, I've only been attracted to women so far, I would say. Yeah. But don't hate me if in the future <laughs> some other things happen. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get that out of the question, yeah? So I'll just answer it now. I like girls and yeah, I, I'm single right now. <laughs> that wasn't the question! That wasn't the question! The question was, you are boy and girl, if you like boy and girl, nothing more. Who probably asks you if you are single? Okay. You guys are not curious, but yeah, I'm single. <laughs> Basically, you're making one invitation for everybody. <laughs> I am. Okay. Tyler and Kangguo's I think my 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 what that side is my my wife is clear 100. Ladies and gentlemen, more ladies, pay attention. Everybody, take a note, take a pen and paper because now you are going to listen the list of the requirement for our gentleman number one, the most. Handsome guy in Thailand. <laughs> he is Thailandese. He has a successful podcast. He is going to be rich. So everybody, ladies in your house, you need you need to take care of this requirement. Tell me, Tyler. Thanks for being this program. Find your middle orange. What is your type? My type. Uh, opposite than you. I prefer small, tiny girls. Tiny. <gasps> yeah. No! <laughs> uh, I'm not super tall. I'm like 175. So yeah, I prefer someone 160 or even. We listen some tiny girls in your houses now. Is screaming and crying like for happy. Is the most happy woman. So if you are less than 160, you are possible. The type of Tyler. What more, Tyler? Honestly, I, I just think little humans are so cute and adorable. <laughs> if you are a minion, <laughs> you have more possibility. <laughs> if you if you are less than one hundred thirty, you have a really less big possibility. Than 130 <laughs> what? I'm, I'm not looking for elementary kids. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Second requirement: you have to way past puberty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, lady. The second one: I like someone who smiles and then their eyes do something like this. Like, okay, so if you are a movie. clown, you can. <laughs> I'm a clown, but I like someone who who likes to smile. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. Yeah. Basically, you don't need too much things. Basically, if you don't need to cut your feet, <laughs> and you need to less than 160, and just you need to smile, and Tyler is going to be yours. <laughs> Thank you in this program, the fighting the gear for Tyler. The most difficult is what? 最后挑战的是什么? Find a correct partner. I think that the best part is the most hard part for everybody who wants to create something is find a correct partner. Because for us, even work in this in podcast, in this podcast, we have a, like a long time, like a one year ago, this yeah. break that we want to do something together, but we didn't find that. But we were swimming about looking at another option, possibility, people. But in that moment that we told more and we know that, yeah, we actually we can work together. So we start to build in that. And after a big fight, but it's close to the end of the season number one, we sit down and we told more clear about know more each other. And we understand that basically we are in the same page and we want the same thing. So we start to work together more hard. And after a big fight, a big down moment, we notice that, yeah, I, if I want to put me in one ship that is going to be down one, one island, desert island, I prefer maybe it can be Tyler, my partner, because you're a really good partner for doing this. Mm. I think for any relationship, for that be romantic, uh, professional or family related relationships, 
I think it's really crucial to, yeah, you've been through some awesome time, but then you also got to really see the worst time or that you've been through some shit. And then I think that's like when you can be sure is this the person that you want to, you know, continue to have the partnership. Yeah. For whatever that partnership would be. And I think that, yeah, I think actually that a lot of people try to avoid conflicts from happening. And because, you know, obviously we're just you two, two people working together, but even just two people, uh, you might have like, obviously you're going to have some different opinion, different perspective. And sometimes that leads to ending up in an argument. Uh, but I, I actually, I, I'm super happy that we had that fight and you understand that yeah. oh there are things that you need to work on and then you also understand okay what the other person probably lack of and how can i do from here to support to fulfill and to improve as a team so yeah like you said i would hate to sink but if that person was you so be it yeah it's like it's it's super super important to it's yeah the the most important essence that to find a yeah right partner what I love about you is like, we only focus on the thing, like the matter, not each other. We don't do any personal attack. Like when we feel like, huh, I'm a little bit taken back by this decision, by this approach, we just only talk about that matter. We don't, you know, let it escalate it into becoming like, you know, just fighting each other. You're a terrible human being. Like we never did that. <laughs> and I think that's one thing that I really, really, really appreciate of. I try to work with other people to start a YouTube. Uh, and we did some, you know, like vlog and street interviews. We try, it was fun, but she was just way too chill. She's just like, oh, let's catch a train. And then we got there. The next train is like an hour later. I'm like, what is going on? We have a guest. <laughs> and the guest was like, how long are we gonna wait? <laughs> I'm like, no, this is how, this is not how you work. You need to have a plan, like a solid plan before you actually, before you execute it. And the next time I try podcast with a guy, um, well, it, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> I'm here with you. So you can imagine how that went down. So you always feel like the other really the moment. Oh, today. Today? When I watch myself in the mirror. Me! About me, <laughs> not about you! Okay, I have one. Uh, I, I, I didn't see you. We were on a phone call and we were in the middle of a meeting and then your wife came back from work or some other places. And then you said, hold on a second, I, I need to kiss my wife. I need to say hello to my wife. I'm like, aww, that's shy. Oh, that's kind of shy. That kind of shy. The first date I meet you. Because before... Taiwan you, Plus? Yeah, in Taiwan Plus. Because uh -huh. I, before I meet you, I'm still your fan. I'm still happy to work with you. Uh -huh. But before I meet you, I was like, fuck, it's he. <laughs> it's he in person. And I, I shake your hand, like I present, like I basically with nobody, I present like you. Yeah, I say, hi, my name is Enrique. You know, you know, you know, Amy, Amy, blah, blah, blah. blah and it's like, oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. That's the first time that I, because I'm still your fan. I'm really fan of you. But the first time that I was like, my world, boom. It's like, a, I meet you face to face. Uh -huh. Yeah. It's different vibe. Like the vibe that you get from internet, from, you know, like all those things and versus when you were actually... Are meet this person, the, work with this person, hang out with this person is different. Yeah. yeah. In that moment was my, my, the, wow, he's real. Wow. <laughs> <It's> real. <laughs> uh, next one is for me. Uh, what is the meaning of Tyler's tattoo? Um, I have two tattoos actually. Two? Uh, yeah. I just saw one. Here's, I don't know how to show this. So this is basically a sun, a new moon and a compass. Yeah. And that for me, it's, is not to be beautiful is to remember something i was in a period of time there where i was completely lost uh i couldn't sleep i have insomnia and i was i felt alone i didn't know which way to go what am i doing or what is the meaning of life but then eventually i thought that hey i am going to get through this i'm gonna pull through so i got a tattoo to remind myself that no matter when it's daytime dark time know where you're going and then go for it everything's gonna be fine yeah so amazing I think that's that's the first one and the second one actually doesn't mean much it's just 1997 but in roman numeral yeah 
In Roman numbers. Is it Roman? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, it's Roman. Yeah. So it's just basically 1997. Yeah, the year I was made. I was introduced to this world. <laughs> the year was you was made one year before. Mm -hmm. Actually, <laughs> yeah. So oh, I was yeah. Yeah. Was, <laughs> what's the word? Inseminated. <laughs> <laughs> I became one embryo ten months oh, but before. But you didn't say when is your birthday? My birthday, uh, August tenth. You want to say now something for <laughs> the birth <laughs> no, no, for the brands? No, no. <laughs> yes, okay. yes. Yeah. So All give. Right. Okay. Mm. Next question. Uh, podcast Long time ago, we have a one plan to do something together. Like, a, uh, mm -hmm. actually, now can be like a two years ago. Mm -hmm. After we shooting, we know that we are going to talk, we are going to do something together. But never we come back with a really strong idea. And until the day you tell me that you are in Tainan mm -hmm. and you want to do something, yeah. And we made and I present to you one like an option. Like mm -hmm. a, we can do this way. In this option, we can do just two two things, and that's it. Yeah, I would say never wait until you've perfected everything to start. You start, and then you learn along the way, and then you can try to. Yeah, because even in the beginning, we say we are going to try it. Yeah, yeah. The first season, the first episode, <laughs> we say we are going to try. We don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. If it's bad, just we close that. Yeah. So, I think yeah, I think that's pretty much it. We. We, we, we share, all? yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. everybody, thank you. We hope that we can answer your whole questions. We hope that we answer you the whole question. And remember that maybe we are going to have a one second part, second Q and A. But you need to pay attention because is this was one most the most personal episode that I can tell you because I open my heart, I open my mind, I open my ideas, I open my background for you. So. Thank you for that. This 100k, we are. I'm so really, really happy. I'm. I'm so sentimental. I'm, I, we are going to welcome our 200k. Yeah, <laughs> stay with us. And I don't know. Yeah, if you like it, like it. If you don't like it, still press the like. Yeah, will you? <laughs> <laughs> so everybody, I think that was our 100k Q and A. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave a comment down below or send us a message. Yeah, if we have a you know part two, then we're gonna also collect your questions. I don't know. Yeah. I feel. I feel. I feel naked. I feel <laughs> naked. <laughs> Naked. I feel <laughs> naked. Thanks, everybody. That's all for today. Don't forget to follow us in our official Instagram, Brosbone on Instagram. Thanks, everybody. You want to say something? Nope. You feel naked too, right? I feel naked too. <laughs> <laughs> so, thanks, everybody. It's me, Conquer. It's me, Tyler. And this is Brosbone. Thank you for that 100k. Thank you. And thank you. <laughs> <laughs> gray yeah. hat, gray hat. We're rocking the style, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Studio 三零七，灯光美，气氛加使用的设备都还超级顶级。不管你是 pro 级的专业人士，想要自己来试试看，或者是新手菜鸟需要人家引导讲解，台南的朋友想要当 podcaster 吗？赶快过来，赶快试试看这里 Studio 三零七，很赞。